Hey, what's up, boys? Boom! It's Pribble here. Let's nice see you guys once again. Uh, back in another v tutorial. So, uh, this, this one's gonna be really short. Probably the shortest I'll ever post. But I'll just make... I'll just keep it quick and simple. So... Basically, how, how do you fake a coral in Warcraft 3? So, first of all, what is faking a coral? Faking a coral is... Basically, when you do the action of throwing a coral like this... But you don't actually throw a spell. You basically fake it. So let let's just see. Let's just show you guys what uh what I mean by that. Let's say let's say this is a very low HP creep, and the human is is creeping this, and basically I'm trying to contest and still creep from my opponent, and I do this. I come in with my DK, I, I, I stand back and I do this. Oh, you know, like I'm about to throw a core, but I don't throw it. So what that does is sometimes human are trying to bait you into last hitting a creep and basically a coral does 100 damage so sometimes they're going to put a creep very very low hp to try to bait you to coil it but you will not kill it so basically what that ends up is that you're wasting mana and you're not stealing their experience so by basically faking a coral sometimes the human is going to stress out to be like it's going to try to react real quick because it's a very stressful situation you have to react really fast so what people will do is that when you're trying to fake a coil, they're going to right click the creep So basically to get the experience And then after they do that, now you can throw the coil for real And basically get a last hit So let me just show you guys how you do this So for me personally, uh, the odd key for coral is W uh, For you it might be C, which is the default odd key so basically, what you do is, you have, you have to be very really quick, and I highly recommend practicing it in custom game before you attempt it in ladder. Because otherwise, you might fail it, and you're gonna feel dumb. So, and also, I, will, I just wanna say that, if you have more than 150 ping, you basically won't be able to do it. Because of the ping, you, you, you might just be throwing the coil, instead of like, stopping it. So how do you fake a coil? So basically what you do is you select the spell, so uh, W for me, C for you. You click on a target, and as soon, and the thing is that in Warcraft, when you click on a target to do a spell, you don't actually throw it right away, like you would do in some other games, like League of Legends, for example. So uh, in Dota 2, however, you can do it. So how you do it is that you click on a target, and the game takes like a second or two before executing the actual action of the spell. So you just click on the target and you press stop. And stop, odd key is S. So for me, for example, uh, W is next to the S key on my keyboard. For you, it's C and S is not too far, so not a big deal. So what you do is you press on the target and you press S. Click S. Click S. You can wait a little bit. You can do it really fast like this. But you want to do it usually until the D key lifts his left hand and his left sword for maximum potential baiting on your opponent because if you only do this yeah. it's, it's like pretty hard to see Order right like this but if you do this like oop, you know like you basically have more chances to bait your opponent into thinking that you're gonna throw a coil and this can this doesn't, this doesn't only apply to basically last hitting a unit it can also apply as when you're fighting with your dead knight and fiends and basically let's say your fiend is really far away from you and the fiend might the fiend might just actually die and the coral will not reach the target like let's say you're here and you know the lich is about to kill the fiend but you still coral the fiend but you know that once the coral reaches the fiend the fiend might actually just die before the coral reaches to the fiend it, it, it's very next level and high level but people at, at high level on the mirror actually do this or on that in general so what that does is they're basically going to save mana on their coil. So what you can do is like, let's say you're, you're in the middle of a fight and it's very heated and you, you know, you're, you're clicking the shit out of your keyboard and you're about to call the fiend and you're like, whoa, 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 hold up here. That fiend's about to die. So sometimes you're just going to cancel the coil. So what that does is you can save your coil for something else in the, in the meantime. So faking your coil can be extremely important in those situations. And I highly recommend that you practice that mechanic. And so it's, it's, it, it's kind of, it's not that easy to figure out. And the lower your ping is, the better you will be able to learn that mechanic. Like I said, if you're like from Australia and you play with uh, 6000 MS, th this is not for you. Like, you're not going to learn anything from this because you will not be able to execute the mechanic because you have too much ping and 
by just clicking the coral you're just going to throw a coral all the time you won't be able to stop it you know so uh i hope it's not too vague let me know if that was a bit too vague and you maybe want me to go deeper into it uh i actually keep it short and simple so i hope that you guys uh get my point and uh thanks guys for watching much love if you like the video click thumbs up if you don't like it thumb it down that's fine let me know what i can do better in my explanation uh, in my explanation let me know what you want to see, what you want to see next and uh, leave a comment down below and uh you know i read all the comments so uh thank you all for watching guys have a good one peace